welcome to Bombay Talkies. My guest is today someone who is otherwise considered film aristocracy in this country, but at some level his heart seems to really lie in the world of theatre and he joins me here at uh, Prithvi Theatre where in many ways uh, the story all began. Shashi Kapoor joins me on Bombay Talkies. Thanks very much indeed. A show which is in fact uh, named after one of your films, but of course we'll, we'll get into that later. Thanks very much for agreeing to do this. Uh, particularly uh, because this is the, the birth centenary year of, of your father, Prithviraj Kapoor, so it makes it a special festival, uh, I guess, in more ways than one. Uh, but tell me, sir, around the time uh, you were born, your father was, was still more involved with films. The transition to theatre hadn't fully taken place, had it? Or, or no, 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 it had, already, it had, it had. I'll tell, I'll tell you a little bit of, of my father. My father sta started his career in Bombay, in the late twenties and uh, the days of the silent days, though the talkies had started that side in, in America, but we were a little late with the talkies. So yes. the first few films he did, uh, like Cinema Girl, they were in, uh, in they were silence films. Right. He also had a, a minor role in Alamara, which is... Yeah, that was a little later. Little that, later. That, that was the talkie, yeah, yes. Yeah. And, uh, this is the silent years, it was. Yeah, the silent. And uh, he, uh, you know, you got me confused with, it wasn't 1938, it, it was, uh, 38 was when, when I was born. Yeah. But he, the talk is already started. Right, sorry, Alamara was 1931, yeah. I beg your pardon. So, uh, I, I always consider myself very fortunate that I was born into this family. I, I suppose, I mean, in retrospect, I mean, I, when I think of, you know, my earlier days, I must have been a happy kid. I mean, I enjoyed every bit of it. I enjoyed the theater. I enjoyed the cinema. I enjoyed uh, being part of this family. I enjoyed traveling in the car where everyone, you know, was looking at that. You couldn't hear what they were saying, but eventually, actually my daughter, you know, surprised all of us, Sanjana, when Jennifer and I were, were traveling with little Sanjana, she was little, mm. and Sanjana came up to me and she said, Dad, uh, she, uh, Papa, she called me Papa, she said, Papa, how does everyone know your name? Mm. So I looked at Jennifer, and then Jennifer tried to explain to Sanjana, little Sanjana, that uh, he was working in, in, in a profession where you get to know the name. She couldn't understand it. I hope she does now. <laughs> but, but, but when you were born, your father was already a, a star? I mean, he was yes, established. Yes, of course. A film star. He was already working in a new theatre company in Calcutta. That's where I was born. Right. And uh, he'd been there for the last about eight, ten years. And he'd done many, many films uh, for, for new theatres with Barua and Debke Bose and lots of other uh, directors and people like uh, Durga Kote, we worked with them, mm. Monica Desai, all mm. these people. And uh, it was in, in a year after I was born that he decided to come to Bombay. And then he started his, his uh, I would say, talkie period in Bombay. When the, when the talking films happened, when films like Sikandar happened and... Yeah, that was in 41, yeah, that that's 41. right, yeah. So it's an extraordinary yeah. life, I mean, you're, you're off travelling the country, staging plays and being summoned off for these... Yeah, so these we had to wait for about two, three months, every time my father went on a cultural trip. And, uh, but, but uh, my father would pay all the other actors, all the actors. So we all had a paid holiday, very, I mean, we enjoyed it at that time, we didn't, I didn't realise that. What was happening? I was only about 18 at that time and it was great. I mean, I was full time in, in the theatre because I, I joined uh, the theatre instead of going into college. Right. And my father asked me and I said, I didn't want to waste four years of my life sitting in the canteens of colleges, but I would rather study. So he, he liked that. And I don't know what made me say it, but I did. And uh, I did work hard, yeah, yes. And uh, I was there in the theatre. Till, till 1960, till the end. And, but uh, you'd already started doing films? No, 
Till the ninety six. No. You uh, you decided that you weren't going to. No, I I didn't want to be a, a cinema actor. It was because of the theatre closing down that I came into the movies. Unlike my brothers, my brothers went to the films via Prithvi theatres, but I never wanted to be. In you were very clear about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, and I, I would have loved the theatre to go on, but uh, unfortunately, it, it closed down in 1960, and Shakespeareana moved out of the country. See, they they went to England. Yeah. Right. So you you had. In many ways, no choice. Are you saying? I mean, I, you could, I, could, weren't there any other outlets for your your, theater, your passion for theatre that you could pursue? There were no outlets. No, there, there was not a single professional theatrical company in that time. And when Prithvi Theatre closed down, hmm. so there was nothing that I could do but but to go into the movies. And uh, that's when Jennifer and I we made that decision. And I was very lucky to to get a lot of work. It was, so did films always feel a, a bit like captivity? I mean, you said you were somehow... Yeah, it was, yeah. But, uh, I would say a rich cap captivity, a healthy one. I, I was able to raise my kids. I was able to uh, look after my Bilaiti Bivi. And I was able to live in, in, in places Reasonable which were other than, you see, where we lived. You see, we lived in a very quiet, suburban uh, place in Matunga. Uh, East, East Matunga, near the Khalsa College. Right. And uh, it was very nice, very happy. This was just, I, I, uh, just you and, uh, are you saying the whole Khandan or no? No, the, the whole Khandan. Khandan. The whole Khandan. Mr. Khandan. Raj Kapoor lived uh, till two of his kids were born with, with, with his parents. And Shami Kapoor lived till one son was born. And uh, I lived till one son was born. So, I mean, uh, it was okay, it was very nice. We had this uh, thing, and my father had a very open mind, you know, to all of us, either living with him or going out, living on our own. And also, he didn't he didn't have any problems with the fact that the others had moved into films and were pursuing their own careers. That that wasn't something that bothered him. He was, he was no, no, okay with it. No, no, he he had people his company. Uh, I think Raj Kapoor moved out pretty quickly, maybe in the late forties. But he kept coming back to Prithvi Theatre and performing sometimes in in stations like Delhi and, and Calcutta. In the, in the sort of bigger our, productions. Our, our prime stations, you know. And, uh, but uh, he, my, my father never objected to anybody leaving his company. Lots of people. L.V. Prasad left the company. He became a, a famous producer, director. That's Prithvi has been a, a sort of a yeah, you see, and laboratory and writers, for many greats. Many greats. Ramanand Sagar, Indra Janan. Shankar Jaikishan, they were all, all there, Shami Kapoor. But you, um, I, I, I guess in some ways Merchant Ivory allowed you to, to also uh, Merchant dabble Ivory in a different kind of Merchant Ivory film. approached me in 1961 and at that time they were think, trying to get the first production together. They were not known anywhere in the world. And I also, I mean, I didn't know them either. I had a press conference. 1961? 61. Yeah. And that's where Ismail and And uh, Ismail came unannounced, uninvited. But he, like he himself, mm -hmm. he said, I'm Ismail Merchant. I know you're Shashi Kapoor and all that, and I want you to do a film for me. So I said, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, I, when I read the script, I realized this was a householder. that... No, it wasn't the householder. Oh, yeah. It was a, a film called Devgar. It was about a village, and they wanted me to play a villager, along with a very beautiful lady who comes from uh, uh, the town. And she, they wanted Sara Banu. And Sara Banu had probably asked for a lot of money, so they couldn't afford it. And uh, then the, the, that subject fizzled off, and uh, the backers went away. And there was a little hiatus. Then again, by the end of 61, uh, they came back to me. And they said that got hold of Ruj Havala's uh, novel called The Householder. And I read it, and I gave it to Jennifer, and we both read it. And it was lovely. It was very nice. <laughs>
film also is very interesting in that sense because he works on very conventional commercial yeah. Hindi film happening studded with these Merchant Ivory excursions. Yeah. And Merchant Ivory came to my life quite, you know, quite soon, I mean, in my second year. So I was able to justify or rather create this thing that I can do that kind of work. Uh, not that many people saw him, me, in that. They, so prefer, they, they weren't successful. Of course. But, you know, it, it must have been in, in many ways liberating for you to... Of course, of course. You see, doing, after having done Prithvi Theatre, yeah, after having done Prithvi Theatre and having done Shakespeareana, both very different uh, uh, kind of plays, I was not very happy uh, running around trees. You're not going to be running around trees no, and singing no. and all that. Though I no, did. You had to do that later. Though I, I did, yes, I did. I did. I did, and I, I was eventually a success of that, so... Was, was there any of that which you enjoyed? Any of the mainstream stuff you were doing? Well, of course. Uh, Jab Jab Phoolkele was a very uh, good f favorite film of mine. Hmm. And it was made by, by friends of mine. And uh, we all had a kind of a picnic, you know, and, and, and we got together and we... Like I, I did a film with Bimal, uh, Bimal Roy hmm. uh, called Prem Patra. Hmm. That was a good story, but it didn't need all the songs and all that kind of stuff, rubbish, which I didn't believe in. And you could see that I was, you know, you, you I, I didn't believe it. Yeah. But Jab Jab Phool Kale was out and out a musical. Huge. I played a musician, a musical man, and, and sang. Oh, it was lovely, very nice. We had very good music, and we had good actors. Nanda was my star. At, at that time, nobody would act with me, she, except for uh, Nanda. Really? Yeah, it's well, amazing. Why was that? Because you... I don't know. I, I, I think so, you know, because I was not established. And uh, Nanda was the new uh, heroine, established heroine. And uh, maybe she felt pity on me. But uh, she was very kind. I mean, I did lots of films. But you ended up doing almost 13 films with uh, Amitabh, with, with Bachchan. Yeah, Amitabh and I did about yeah, about I, I was 12, trying to run through films. your film, yeah, filmography, yeah. almost a dozen odd films. Yeah, we did, did quite a few. And we enjoyed our work. We, yeah, yeah, we enjoyed our work. Some were very strong films, very committed films. Divar and so on. Yeah, yes, of course. And some were very lackadaisical films. But it wasn't a disadvantage being in the second lead position with, with someone like him. You didn't, you didn't, that's what, you didn't think yeah, of it. That's what they thought when they came to me. You see, they, they thought that I would object. And I didn't. You see, coming from the theatre, hmm. I didn't mind doing that kind of uh, work. And uh, I said, no, it's okay. As long as the product is okay. And I heard, I had the fortune to hear the complete script of Divar. And I was the one to tell them right in the beginning, before they started, that said, this is going to be a super hit. And uh, it and, was. And you didn't have any unease no about playing that? No, no, none of that. Not at all, not at all. That's yeah, extraordinary. It was okay, very good. I enjoyed it, yeah. But was it, was it really sort of with, with your own films, the time when you got to actually do stuff like Janoon and Kalyog and all of that? where you felt creatively more connected to films? Of course, of course. I did six films, you know, Junoon, Kalyu, 36, Vijeta, Utsav, Ajuba. Mm. And uh, those are the kind of films that I wanted to work in and to produce. So I did them, but unfortunately they didn't run. They didn't uh, bring back the money. They did very well uh, in, in a kind of critical sense. I mean, they were hugely acclaimed. But yeah, yeah, but, but they, they didn't, uh, you know, bring back the finance. So I lost money in that. I lost a lot of money. In all of them? Yeah. So that's when I start, you know, stopped producing films, which was a shame. I, I didn't want to stop. But, you know, it's amazing that we started both the things, Prithvi Theatre in 19... This Prithvi Theatre yes. in 1978, and uh, my film company called Filmwalas, in 1978. At the same time? Yeah, and uh, this has and been this going has on for 28 years. Can you imagine <laughs> that? And, and that uh, I had to, you know, close shop. So it just that's, shows. That's interesting. That's very unusual, actually. Yeah, it's to, amazing. To, to, yeah. Have, to have theatre outlast films. Yeah, I'm very happy. I'm really very happy. And I'm, I'm so glad that Kunal and, and uh, Sanjana both have looked after the theatre. And actually, it's, it's, it's Jennifer's legacy. Mm. Very nice. I, I guess it's almost uh, pointless to ask whether you, you miss her at moments. That's a private thing. <laughs> but tell me, you never, you never wanted to, to come back into theatre, into, into acting? 
No, you see, even later when when no, sort of uh, theatre uh, was was getting revived. When I stopped working in theatre, I went into the films. I never thought of coming back. And uh, why was that? Given that it was your first love. And uh, no, and because your because I I didn't want to fool around with this profession. You know, I wanted it to be full time. I I would have stayed on in the theatre. Had it had it. Had, yeah, had Prithvi theatres carried on, but it it didn't. Shakespeareana didn't. You know. So I didn't have any company where I could work professionally. So I, that's why I went into the movies. But once I went into the movies, then I worked only, only in the in movies. The movie. And uh, but, but your father was sort of dabbling in both, or at least he was switching between both. But I was not my father. So I uh, know. But you see, I I didn't want to do that. And uh, I was not that I was unhappy. I was very happy, and the the, the film business gave me enough to be able to do things that I wanted to do mm. and one of the things that I wanted to do was to build the theatre here and I'm so glad that I built it. I'm so glad that Jennifer built it for me. Right. It was in, in, in 72 that my father died and I didn't know what to do. And my, my mother and father both passed away at the same time, you see. So I, we were all in shock. And my, my brothers were not doing so well. Mr. Raj Kapoor was trying to get over Mera Naam Joker and he was still producing Bobby, so he didn't know what was going to happen. And Bobby was not being sold. That was another thing. Amazing. To yeah, that's that how I became time. a distributor. You see, I became a distributor because <laughs> Bobby was not being sold. And they were very, very rude, you know, to my, to my brother. I mean, a man makes, makes ten hits for you and one flop and all his distributors done away. And they call him in the center, you know, don't, don't uh, you know, do any films. So you had to step in at that point? Yes, I, yes, I did, with pleasure. Though my, my, my brother was a bit uh, shy, a bit hesitant, because he knew that I didn't have any, any knowledge of distribution. And you do need a lot of knowledge, you do need a lot of experience to be able to exploit a film. You can't just be an actor and just uh, have the money. Of and course. It. You, you need to know more, you have to know the know-how. But I did get a very good distributor, distribution company. I was the money bags behind it, so it was, it was okay. But is there anything that's going to bring you back to acting? At no, point? no. <laughs> Nothing? No, I've had my, you know. In custody was the last that was outing. It. That's right, yes. That's in it, custody in, in 92 or 93. Hmm. And uh, an American films that I did uh, in 97. Right. Uh, Which was that? I, I've got some films here, Vivekanand and Jinnah, of course. Oh, you sorry, you were narrating. Jinnah I did in 97, yeah. I was uh, not the narrator, uh, uh, just uh, audibly. I mean, I was doing a, a character. Yeah, it was very nice. I'm, sh I'm sorry it didn't come here. It, it, but, you know, the, the but, countries, they rule these silly things, you know. But, but, but why do you, you feel that you... You've had your time, is it? Why is yeah, it? Yes, of course, of course. And I don't have the strength, you see. You see, actor needs a lot of strength, even, even on the stage. More, more on the stage than in the films. Hmm. I don't have the strength. And I'm also a Buddha Baba now, you see. You see, and, perfectly and, vigorous and, 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 and people, mind uh, is alive. People compare me to Amitabh. Amitabh is younger to me, much younger. And I wish him good luck and, and he's doing marvelously well. I mean, his last film, which I saw, was Black, which I loved. I mean, I thought he was very good in that. Have you two stayed in touch, by the way? Because you had such a long professional association. Well, we, off and on, you know. One thing was there right at that time, when we started also, was, was that we didn't interfere with each other's privacy. And uh, even though we worked together, we gelled together very well, we were wanted by people, but we didn't uh, socially meet. We didn't, we had our different kind of likes Lines. and this, you know, he had Jaya Bachchan, I had Jennifer. Shashi Kapoor, thanks very much for doing Bombay Talkies. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you.